Hello. Serum. Guess I can switch. So I got the serum. The only challenge is that it needs to go in not at the same time as the ointment. Well, at least 20 minutes in between. So I'm going to try to get her first dose going now. The, problem, the only challenge will be that she's in the corner over there. So I'm going to have to try to get her. Let's see how this goes. Hi. What are you doing? Is that a nice cool floor? Are you enjoying the nice cool floor? Let's see. Oh, now it's pretty easy. She's a good girl. She's so sweet. Let's show me her face. Fairly well. Fairly well. All right. over here. Okay, so first dose of serum done. What a good girl. You're very brave. Very brave. So I saw some questions about the other cats. Um, Fairy is going to be returned on Tuesday when I go to feed. Um, she has gotten more confident as she's feeling better, which is good. 
but um, it is definitely not responding to uh, interaction now that she's feeling better and is feeling pretty confident in her environment. So she's made it pretty clear that she's not interested. Um, Kimsey's went in yesterday just to get a read on her also and couldn't get anywhere near her. So um, I think it's time she's good and healed and I think she'll be happy in being returned. No point in keeping her any longer. Um, and uh, Neelix. Neelix lets me deliver food and stick my hand in her nest to take the food away. Um, she still is, you can, you see her eyeballs, her eyes go perfectly round and her pupils dilate and um, I think that to work on socializing her at this stage in her pregnancy would not be beneficial. So that's why I'm not doing it. Um, if I thought there was benefit in doing it, then I would, but um, I think at this stage, just being consistent about always, you know, bringing food, never threatening her, um, and um, just, uh, I think that's the best way to establish trust with her at this stage in her pregnancy. Um, the sky's a bit different because I have no choice but to interact with her multiple times a day, so um, I am increasing her stress level by doing that, but um, there's no other choice. So she's kind of a special case. Uh, Savina has been doing much better with the new nest. She's quite comfortable in there. Um, she was making really adorable biscuits last night. Um, today, for the first time, I attempted to put food into the nest and she, um, she did okay with that, which is good. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, she will at least let me deliver food occasionally. Um, and, and also it was a good sign that she didn't panic and try to, you know, escape the box. She just kind of hunkered down. So I think that's hopefully a good sign that she's feeling fairly safe and relaxed, relatively speaking, so that's good. Um, you can see she and Fairy don't hang out at all, uh, so I don't think she'll miss um, when Fairy goes back. Uh, what else? Sable has been getting more confident, slash, um, watchful. Uh, she growls at me when I come in. Um, I would not be surprised if one day she decides that she doesn't want me stealing her babies. Um, but we'll just have to take it day by day. So a lot of stuff, I know that you guys have tons of questions, but a lot of the time the reason you're not getting your questions answered is because I don't have the answers to the questions. Because with these guys you can't predict what's you, you can't predict what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know how they're going to change, how they're, it's just, they change, their, their needs change, their confidence level changes. It's, there's no way for me to say, you know, a week from now, this is going to happen, or, you know, I'm going to separate Neelix and Sable Kittens. Um, I don't, at this point, I don't think there would be any reason to do that. Um, I think they're both comfortable in there. I think it would be stressful to move either one of them. Um, they do fine together. Yes, there's been a little bit of growling, but nothing, nothing significant. Nothing that would be concerning in any way. So, um, I think that, uh, they're both nicely settled. They have their own space. They've worked out a system. So, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. Um, let's see, what else? Mm, lots of belly vision on Sabina. Um, I've seen some on Neelix, I think, but it's not as obvious. It's a little bit harder to see. The um, second camera in her nest is not working. I still 
I need more cable. I'm waiting on more cables. Um, the one of the ones that I got to, isn't working, so um, I got two more today. But I used those in here, so I need some more. So they're on their way. It's just it's taking a while. Um, There is an unbelievable amount of infrastructure required to do so many cameras and so many camera angles and all that stuff. So um, I never seem to have quite enough of the right equipment when I need it, but close. We get, we're close. Um, Sky's feline leukemia test was negative, so that's wonderful news. Um, Uh, Sky does not have any um, other upper respiratory symptoms, so I don't know. I think her meow is just um, the way it is. Just has a special meow, or it's that's her nervous meow. We don't know. So um, I haven't. I didn't actually hear it. So, but I heard that it's it's um, quite unique. I heard you have a special meow. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, well, Sky does have upper respiratory issues, but she doesn't have symptoms other than her eyes at the moment. Um, but she definitely has upper respiratory, but her mouth actually looked really good, so I would say that's unlikely to be affecting the way she talks. Um, earlier when I was petting her, she definitely had a few deep sighs. She seemed fairly relaxed. Um, her respiration rate is high, um, just in general, but also uh, seems high when I'm, you know, gets high when I'm here. But, um, what was that, Cabela's? Um, I did add a few things to the wish list, um, like differently sized, um, nest liners and things like that because um, everything is has gotten is a lot more uh, specific now with all the different nests so um, I wonder if they had your babies see if there's any babies um <coughs> Oh, is it empty? All right, I, I guess I only added a few things, but um, thank you. Um, what else? Snow Elf are doing great. Um, getting tons of snuggles from the awesome snugglers. They're going home the 30th. Um, I'll have to schedule. It's been so crazy. I need to schedule a suitcase packing party. Oh, what's this right here? Yes, I um I will post. Um I did a sketch of this nest. Um Carol M emailed me last night and offered to try to custom make a what is it, baby? I'm petting you babies. Um, so I, I um, did some sketches. It's sort of a work in progress, this, this prototype situation. Um, I'm feeling the babies.
He's so sweet. It was, it's really nice that she let me grab her from the corner. That's good. She hasn't quite felt bold enough to go up on the windowsill yet. I'm thinking she will like that once she's feeling a bit more confident. This is only day three. So it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I guess this is sort of day four. This is the fourth day of your captivity. Hopefully your eyes are at least starting to feel better. You know it's so scary. You're pretty, you're pretty special. Very lucky that she's um, this docile so soon. Or not so soon because being shut down at this stage is pretty normal, but um, she didn't try to hiss at me when I covered her with a blanket over there, which was nice. I appreciate that. And she does actually seem to somewhat enjoy the petting, which is nice. Oh, oh there goes my laptop. So the serum is basically a concentrated version of her own body's healing mechanism, um, which is created from her own blood. And so it's just a really, it's really concentrated um, healing um, cells and stuff. So putting it in there should be very healing and it's also completely safe. So we're hoping that will help with some of the scarring and the cloudiness and the ulcers also. Hoping. I haven't seen like a huge change in her eyes. Um, her conjunctiva are definitely less red and inflamed, which is nice. Um, so she's probably feeling a little bit better. Um, they're not stem cells. But, um, it's sort of a, it's sort of like a, I don't know, it's just a, it's a more concentrate, it's just a concentrate of her own, what her own body would be doing to heal her eyes. Um, the unfortunate thing is that it only lasts for four days, five days, maybe five days and then we'll have to make some more. So we'll see how it goes. I've never used it before, so. Um, hopefully it will help though. Aren't you adorable? Oh, you're so special. You're really, really cute. Her breathing's actually not too bad right now. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah, so those are the drops I just gave her. And then she's also getting her antibiotic ointment three times a day. And um, um, Dr. F is consulting with some specialists about whether we could do antiviral drops in addition. But um, the unfortunate part of adding additional therapies is that they can't go in at the same time. We have to wait at least 20 minutes in between each one, so, um, I 
just so that they all get absorbed properly and bring the full benefit. So. She's doing very well, though. I'm not restraining her in any way. She could get up and leave if she wanted to. She has been doing um, pretty well um, in between visits. She's been eating, and she did use the litter box overnight. She did lots of exploring. She trashed the room while she didn't trash it. She just knocked that camera over. She actually has been quite um, tidy in here. Um, so she's enjoying what I'm doing a little bit. She's not hating it anyway. No purrs yet. I wouldn't expect purrs for, I don't know. I wouldn't expect them right away. Breathing's good though. Um, it's a little bit in it's interesting with her because we we use their eyes so much to sort of read how they're feeling and how they're reacting to things. And with her, I don't think we can read anything into her eye responses. Um, because her blinking is different than it normally would be. She may be closing her eyes because they hurt. She may be keeping them open because they hurt. Um, her pupils may be more or less dilated because she's not able to see very well. It's kind of, um, it's kind of interesting. You're very special. Her, um, both of her pupils do appear to um, respond to light, which is nice. So that gives us some hope, maybe, for that left eye. But too early to say. Reading's actually quite slow right now. I mean, in a good way. I don't know why that is. There's a big sigh there. I'm very lucky that she's um, handling this so well. I think Neelix would have been a challenge. Savina would have been a huge challenge. Fairy, Pisces Fairy would have been a challenge. You're, you're being pretty good. Even though I know you're nervous, you're still being very good. Yes, you are. Maybe you. Maybe you're feeling a bit better. I wasn't planning to come and to stay very long, but um as long as her breathing is slow and she seems to be sort of enjoying 
pink padded, so I'm not gonna stay and keep doing it and see how, see where it goes. Cause you can't make any plans when it comes to the barrels, huh? I'm sorry. Did I tickle you? Are you gonna get up and go? You can if you want to. I'm not holding her back, so she could get up and go if she wants to. She may do. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna make a run for it? You can. I have to put your drops back in the fridge anyway. Yeah, it's a little scarier when you have to look at the human predator. Yeah, where are you going? Are you gonna do some hiding? You should go in there to the nest because um, there's good food in it, and I made it extra comfy for you. And then we can all we can all watch you. And you're, you're so beautiful. We really like to watch you. See, you know, it's right there. See, you see it? It's right there. That's a really good place to hang out. He says, "I don't know about that. I think I'll just hide my face." The ways we know that she's a feral born cat is the um, is her age being between 12 and 18 months old and the extent of the scarring in her eyes um, indicates that she's been fighting this um, these eye ulcers her whole life and they've been untreated her whole life so um, if she was someone's pet they would have taken her in, or they would have done something about the eyes. If she was someone's pet, no, not necessarily if she was like a barn cat on someone's property, but um, if, if anyone had actually cared for her at some point, um, they would have gotten her treatment from a very young age. And they really did not.
I think this is like 80% tolerating, tolerating me and like occasional moments of enjoying it and being relaxed. That was a big sigh though. That was a big sigh. You must feel somewhat safe. You're not making a run for it. What are we going to do when those babies come, huh? That's going to be a whole new challenge. You're going to be protective mommy. It's going to be a lot easier this time around, though, because you'll just need no predators except me.
you're getting a lot bigger to get, unfortunately for you. You don't have the benefit of really itchy ears with Sky, which is good for her. But uh, the itchy ears always gave us give us a way to give them some relief, which is what caused Elf's first purrs and Mistletoe's first purrs with ear rubs. So we have to do it the old fashioned way. When your ears aren't too itchy. You need to hold them when you pick them up. I think that's the only reason ear mites exist. To help with feral cat socialization. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. When are you gonna get up, huh? You thinking about it? You can make a run for it. Oh, I meant to bring treats in. Oh, the treats are out there. If I reach for them, I'm gonna probably get nervous. Cause I keep in that touring plan. Maybe if we cover up a little bit for a second.
this beginning you can see and then definitely lifted up her head for that one to give me access. You can go anytime you do. Me trapped here. You know, I know her. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, easy girl. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl. Me? So brave. She's a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. You can go if you like to.
the most subtle, stealthy eating of a snack I've ever seen. Good girl, good for me. She's even chewing. I think she's just swallowing. So I decided to sneak in an actual nutritious snack. A nutritious snack for you. Might not be as exciting. He's willing to capture the moment.
Yeah, I think it's cute though, that ball. It's a very cute and very brave ball. Very cute. Oh, that's very brave of you. Oh, that's very brave. Oh, that's very brave. Very brave.
and cable and then we Hey, brave girl, so brave. Get you off of snack. Oh, you can take it out. Mm -hmm. to make lots of noise. Oh look, you're in you're in the lap again. In the lap again. What are you gonna do? Oh I must get this. Oh I know. It's okay. It's okay. Very brave. Thank you. 
can go in any time if you want to. Should I use the fire grate? Let me see if you want any of these grates. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here. I make mess in here. I clean it up for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, look at me. He's really empty. Oh, look. He's gonna face the human predator. That's right, great of you. Hi. You gonna sneak away? You can. You can go sneaky. If you don't, you're gonna get petted more. his neck for you, look. Such a good girl.
Iya. Ini enggak usah mati. That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. I don't think you've ever been here. Hmm. It's still alive. It's still alive. That's unacceptable. Maybe he's hanging out in your blanket. I bet he's gonna die soon though. Too much excitement for you. Here you can get out of here. I'll make you a little tunnel to your little. There's your little nest right there. Just don't step in your water. I'm gonna start trying to slide out of the way if you don't step in it because you can get all nervous if you step in it. I have a treat for you. Okay, a treat. That's a very good backing away. Very good slow, steady backing away. Good job. Alright. I need to put these back in the fridge. That was good though. No purring. I don't think I'll have purring for a bit. Mm. But I think she was she had a few moments where she was pretty relaxed. I'm gonna leave her a trail of snacks.
Hey, Bill just has his neck feed. Can you like that? Next. I'll put them right here. Now, I think I'm going to put this back in the corner in case she lays down there again. do her antibiotic eye drops and then we would be done for a bit or I could come back and see how she's doing we don't have a camera back there though don't you think maybe we should Okay, I'll switch the cam. Now I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll put some snacks. 